Hey everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy IV The After Years, The Crystals, Part 14. And today it's going to be a little different. We fought Final Fantasy bosses from 1, 2, and 3. And since we already fought from 4 on the way down here, you might guess, well, 5's next, right? And you're right, they are next, but they're not in a room like the, like the past 3 were. They're not, they're just scattered. And we're only gonna, you only have to fight two of them, the other two are optional. Oh, look, there's one now. I don't know if you saw it or not, but down the right hand corner, there's a there's a white thing. Moving around, that's Omega. He's one of the optional bosses. Which I will not be fighting in this, I'll... I, I did fight them, and I beat them, but... I, I really don't want to do it again. Oh hey, look, a, bo a boss. So I know what this boss is. This is a boss you have to fight. Oh, it's Gilgamesh. One thing that kind of disappointed me is that there's no battle on the big bridge, but oh well. I was going to add it, but then it, there'd be no sound effects. So I decided why not, so I thought I'll just keep it in here. So if you ever fought Gilgamesh before in Final Fantasy's remake of one, five, remake of six, 12 and 13, then you know that he's not very hard at first. He actually gets stronger later on. But even even right now, he's he's pretty strong. He, he doesn't have a whole lot of defense, so you're probably able to wail on him a lot. So long, as long as you have a healer, he'll be fine at first. One thing you might want to do, like go ahead, might want to go ahead and do, is cast haste on Rosa. If she's not poisoned, and cast protect on everyone because he because later on he does hit pretty hard. Yeah, he he casts the mini spell as you already seen. He also has a spell or a skill that paralyzes you. I don't I don't know what the skill is, but he used it. He's used it already. He used it at the beginning of the of the battle, so. You really want to know what skill it is, just go back. Oh, but wait, you can poison us, that's that's great. But oh, well, we have inertia. I have three, mate. I have three people who know him inertia, so I can just cast inertia and heal everyone. It pays to have people with, have multiple people who can heal. So I'm going to go with Rosa and Rydia first, because then they have the, the least amount of HP. But you don't have to do them first, you don't want to. Of course, you didn't bring Rosa or Rydia, just heal the person with the least amount of HP, being like Porm or Palom or Lenora, or maybe one of Edge's ninjas if you brought them. Ursula, maybe. Anyway, so, we're just pounding Gilgamesh. I don't remember, I don't think Gilgamesh has ever had the mini spell before. But this is the first time. Oh, I think he... No, no he didn't. There, now everyone is done... Is that poison? Yeah, sometimes he'll go high and then hit you. And I'll do more damage than normal. But that still isn't going to be a whole lot, as long as he doesn't hit a mage. Even if he does hit a mage, it probably won't be that bad. I don't know why he keeps casting slow, I mean, I can easily just dispel that with haste, though. With, I mean, with haste. I don't think, I don't think his, his saga was in this game. I don't think that was in, but it was like, until Final Fantasy XII. Anyway, so he healed himself. And I easily knocked off all the HP, he just healed. So... This battle's going pretty smoothly. Like I said before, he doesn't hit too hard. He just has a lot of HP to go through. Okay, here it is. So, if you played Final Fantasy before and you know what he's doing... So, 
So somehow he became a dragoon. And yeah, that sucks. So now his junk command can kill you if you're not careful. He actually he has a couple other attacks too. He hits harder and he has I think he has slightly higher defense, but you probably won't be able to notice. Oh he attacks multiple times now in a row. Dude, give it a break. Of course, yeah, Cecil. Cecil has to protect. I mean, he has a... Yeah, he guards. He protects weakened allies. But of course, you probably, he's probably going to die. He protects everyone. And for some reason, he has Odin's skill. But... Okay, we'll, we'll let that slide. And if you... There's an easy way to level up. Some of, I like If you want to know something that I do is I put Riddy in my pro in my party and then I use Odin and they the enemies down here give pretty good experience just probably level up in a couple of minutes like I would say 10 15 minutes given that you didn't run into a line of really weak enemies like I mean like enemies you could probably just kill with a few turns like if Cecil and Kane kill one just one one hit, and there's no real point. Okay, so this is Escalapar, which is weird because in Final Fantasy V it's called the Escalapor. And here it's called Par. He does one damage. And remember he also has that sword in Final Fantasy VIII. He has like... He... Actually, you know, I think he... Using Odin's attack, he also uses that in Final Fantasy VIII too. I was, gonna, I was gonna say, he also has the Massa Moon, the Scalloper, and the Scalloper in uh, Final Fantasy VIII, so I mean, cause he, it's okay that he has it here, I guess. I can't tell if Penetrain Laser attacks, or if he just knocks off some HP or all HP, or what's going on there. So, what it says there? I have to figure out why he has the junk command. Like, did he, have, did he have dragoon boots or something? He has the same. He also does that in Final Fantasy VI Advance. Like you, you fight him in the arena. He's a he's a summon in Final Fantasy VI Advance. Yeah, you need quite a bit of gill in order to get him, but it's worth it. I would say it's worth it. Gilgamesh Lynch is a pretty fun fight in Final Fantasy VI. It's a pretty fun fight in any Final Fantasy game, really. Yeah, that that really hurt. So, if I live on Boat Rosa, I would probably use X-Potions, because you're probably going to need it in this battle, unless you're much more prepared than I am. Okay, we're getting close to the end of the battle, and I just want to say that when he dies, he says something, but I wasn't expecting him to die, and I hit A and skipped it on accident. What he says is, Barts. That's all he really says, is just Barts. Yeah, see, I skipped it. And you guys got a If you use that, you're... Yeah, if you my kid, you're not going to use that. Parts. Yeah, so if you've never played Final Fantasy V, then you probably don't know what that meant. But you probably have, so let's just rest here. I'm not going to get into Final Fantasy V story here. If you want to know the story, go play it yourself. So now we have Theodore and Kane, which we travel together quite a bit. Back in the main story, over a year ago, you remember that? That was awesome. Now we're just so here we're talking about how <clears throat> excuse me, how Cain didn't like his father, and he says, "Well, do you hate your father, Theodore?" And Theodore's like, "No, Maxim, mine." 
I love my father. He's like, okay, that's cool. And that's that's basically all that is. There's something else coming up, but we haven't gotten there yet. And his dad and Kane's father died about the same time. About the same when he was about Sudor's age, and then we go up and there's Rosa, watching it. I don't know why she said thank you. I guess she had doubts that Sudor liked Cecil or something. So Sudor and Kane learn another uh, band, a band which I will never use. So, oh, we haven't gone there yet. Okay, if you hear, if you keep going left. You'll run to... No, I'm sorry. Here. That's where you go left. You'll run into Shinyu. And I beat Shinyu too. I be, actually, I beat... There's another boss that we haven't seen yet. That I beat. And I beat, I beat all three bosses. And they're hard. I mean, I... If you want to try them, be my guest. If you want my, if you want my opinion, fight the one we haven't seen yet first. So anyway, if you keep going straight, I mean, you keep going, you'll just keep going to an endless circle, so you have to go find the door. And this room also keeps repeating. So Shinyu and Omega are the two Final Fantasy bosses you don't have to fight yet. They're not in your way, you can fight them if you want to. That's pretty good. Oh, by the way, I don't mean to sound like I'm bragging when I said that, but just laying it out there. I said I beat those three bosses. I'm just playing it out there. So this is Antimos, and he, all he uses is a meteor. So as long as you stay on top of healing, he won't be that hard. But if you play Final Fantasy V, then you also know if he knocks out one of your characters, he can suck them into the wormhole. So make sure if someone knock, gets knocked out, you revive them quickly. As long as you stay on top of healing, he won't kill you. Compared to Gilgamesh, Antimos is really easy. Because like I said, all he does is use Meteor. And he sucks you in if he knocks you out. And I, as I already said, if you stay on top of healing, that won't happen. So, have fun. Just hammer on around him until he dies. If you, if you really can't beat him, replace your your least amount of damage dealing character and put in Porum or Rosa or Lenora or someone that, someone, another white mage, and you'll win no problem. As long as you're around level 60, you probably, you'll, you'll do okay. Let me get another meteor. So this is extremely straightforward. He has one attack, you'll get killed by it, and you'll do fine. He's kind of like Arimon from the last dungeon, or the last set of bosses. Was it hard? He just casts Doom a lot. Given this boss's attack is a lot stronger than Doom, but not by enough to... Of course, Doom doesn't cause any damage. Meteor does, but I mean, you know, stay healed, you won't, you won't die. I mean, this boss really took a downgrade from Final Fantasy V. In V, he was actually pretty tough. That's kind of a kind of a disappointment, but oh well. We got an item we need to get beforehand. Nice armor for mages. Oh well, we're in we're now. So we didn't right now. So I decided to watch the next cutscene, so we don't have to do it next time. Next time we go straight into the battle. Now, if you never when we were in the uh, lunar whale. 
you had flowers. Or you listen to people on Earth. And now we can hear them again. Which is not good, because that means that we're getting closer to the Earth, and the moon's going to hit the Earth pretty soon. And as we hear from the Whisperweed, they can't leave the castle because there are monsters right outside and they're not strong enough to take them out. And so the moon's moving faster than they thought, they thought it was. And they're all happy that Cecil's back to normal, because Cecil says something like, Oh, hey, Cecil's back to normal. We have a chance now. Without Cecil, we possibly can't do it. Really, I thought I could, you know, switch Cecil in for, like, Yang. I could probably do it with Yang. Obviously, you don't use the same party I'm using, but this is the party I feel most comfortable with. Well, we are here to destroy everyone, so... Or destroy the moon, rather. There's still a few loose ends we haven't tied up. Actually, you'll know what those loose ends are soon. So, I wonder what room we're in now. I mean, we fought Final Fantasy bosses... Oh, we're on the roof of Final Fantasy VI, I guess. So that's what we'll be doing next time. Final Fa is uh, fighting Final Fantasy VI bosses. So until then, have fun, I guess.